Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Many who try to climb it fail and never get to try again. The fall breaks them. And some are given a chance to climb. They refuse. They cling to the realm or the gods or love. Illusions. Only the ladder is real. The climb is all there is. That is Peter Baelish. Little finger in A Game of Thrones. The first book in the series. And of course today, you have been little fingered. Don't quote me on that. So, of course, today we are going to be playing this evil scheming fuck, of course, on our poll, guys. Rhaegar Targaryen actually won with Littlefinger bringing in the least amount of votes. But I thought, what a great opportunity to Littlefinger you all and play Littlefinger nonetheless. So, like him with Ned. You're Ned in this situation. I'm Littlefinger. That's not the greatest comparison I want to portray, really, is it? But how do you feel about that? I am sorry, guys, but <laughs> it had to be done. When I saw those poll results, I thought this would be a great idea. So I'm sorry, but without further ado, let's get started. We are going to be climbing the ladder of chaos today. So, guys, here we are as Lord Peter Littlefinger of Midlaw. He is deceitful, gregarious, callous, ambitious, a genius... Scarred, delicate, and pensive. And he's only 14 right now. So, uh, there's a couple of things we want to do. Look at those stats, though. 21, 20, and 13. That is fantastic stats to start with. And we've not even come of age yet. The first thing, though, we want to change our focus to intrigue, of course. We don't want stewardship focus. Who wants that? And uh, secondly, we need someone to educate us. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> the finger man. You were a finger man. <laughs> I didn't realize it was called that. <laughs> right, now I've uh, composed myself, guys. The finger men. Oh my god. I think, uh, yeah, we'll take uh, our septum as our, <laughs> as our guy. Because we are so pious after all. You will become... Uh, I will become his ward. In terms of spouses, now, we have a few different options. We've got the bucklers over here, but there is someone, generally, who I would like to marry. And it is a Tyrell, but where are they? Oh, they were, they were, they were literally at the top. It's because they have the, uh, the city of Old Town. Um, so we're gonna marry into the Tyrells. She is a long, long way down the, uh down the uh, the air list guys so we're gonna have to kill a lot of people if we want you know to take over the tyrell lands but you know that's what little fingers known for isn't he we are gonna do something instead and we're gonna fabricate a claim over here and try and take this little bit of land get a little bit more power we're gonna try and take the high lordship here and then we can set our sights on taking the veil of aaron and then look to the iron throne whoever wins the war i don't know but we shall see. Generally, Robert wins, so we'll see what happens. Oh my god, this is actually the first time I've seen this. The end of the Iron Throne. A raven from the Crownlands brings news not conceivable since the time of Old Valyria. The Iron Throne, the Red Keep, King's Landing, and its hundreds of thousands of inhabitants in an instant were no more. A ball of fire, green as an emerald, consumed the city in its entirety. The roar of the explosion echoing from the Eyrie to Highgarden. While some rumour the Mad King Ares orchestrated the plot, others yet blame those who rose up against the crown. Rumours aside, there is one truth. King's Landing is nothing but ash and rubble. Um, oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, my God. We could watch it as well. Oh, my God. This is so good. Yes. Explode. Explode. Yes. Come on. Oh, glorious. Yeah, Rhaegar was killed by Robert, and uh, yeah, the, the Mad King was incinerating during the wildfire explosion of King's Landing. <laughs> so, now we have King Viserys on the throne, and in terms of the Targaryens, there is literally no one that lives. Uh, 
I guess King Robert's going to win anyway. So, you know, he's going to inherit not the Iron Throne. Um, but something else. <laughs> oh, wow. That is glorious. That's the first time I've ever seen that. And Robert did win the war indeed. And now he is King Robert of the Iron Throne. But apparently, you know, the Red Keep is a, is a ruin. Holding type ruin. Um, so I don't know what he's going to do and how he has to, uh, you know, change things around here and how much money he has to put into it. But surely that is going to make him weak because he won't have the levies uh, that are normally associated uh, with the Iron Throne. Oh, and he's he's got all these direct vassals, so he's not even got the Stormlands underneath him. Now, in terms of everyone else, I think Tywin survived, but Jamie, of course... Was incinerated. <laughs> uh, Hoster's still in the Riverlands. Oh! Ned Stark was slain by Arthur Dane at the Tower of the Sun, I'm assuming, trying to get Lyanna back. Oh, so now it's Lord Paramount Teo of the North. What a boy. And then the Reach. Of course, it's still Paramount Mace. And down here, still Prince Duran. Now, the Stormlands just don't have a. Uh, have a ruler quite yet but i'm guessing we'll see that soon and we have come of age fantastic with the help of jeremy i have achieved an understanding of intrigue that far exceeds that of any of my peers we've become an elusive shadow apparently a formidable fighter but this is just a bug this it will not happen <laughs> yeah we have just become an elusive shadow we are not interested in tourneys i'm sorry it, apart from just a bet <laughs> But yes, we have become an elusive shadow, so now we have 29 Intrigue, which is fantastic. We can choose our patron aspect, which is going to be the Stranger, of course. More Dread and more Hostile Scheme success chance. And then in terms of our lifestyle, now there's two options we could go down. Now there's two routes we can go down here. We can go Intimidation or Skullduggery. Now, in the books, Littlefinger is the Grey Man. He's not like the show. Everyone trusts him at the start, at least. Everyone thinks that he is a trustworthy fellow, that he is not brave enough, that he's not strong enough to ever do anything against the crown. You know, he's the grey man, the grey man that no one suspects. However, in the TV show, he is overtly sleazy, overtly scary, and overtly someone that everyone distrusts. So it's quite a big difference. But in terms of us, we're going to go for the overtly distrustworthy guy with our natural dread of plus 30. Keep everyone in check. Let's go. So we've been offered the position of spy master now. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. That's not something that you wanted to do there, was it? Fantastic. Let's start the scheme. So now we have a claim on this little bit of land across here. And we have more troops anyway. But if things get bad, we can call in, uh, you know, the lordship of Old Town as well. But let's uh, start our first war. Get a little bit more land and uh, see what we can do. Go on, boys. You can do it. Come on. How are we losing? No, we've got like double the amount of troops. Good Lord. Good Lord. No. <laughs> well, uh, it seems like there's only one thing we can do then. So now the boyos from Old Town are here. We can finally <laughs> win this war. We can't even win it by ourselves. Glorious. We have won our first war. So now we've grown slightly, you know... <laughs> Now we just need to murder everyone. <laughs> so here we are, our first murder plot. Yes, it will be easy to have my agents drench the rowboat meant to ferry him out in flammable liquid. Wait until it's out in the middle of the har harbor, launch a flaming arrow, and then just let the water claim him. Okay? Such a tragedy. Unfortunately, the archer couldn't be found. <laughs> Ah, well, straight in there with the spy master once again for our new lord. Of course, of course, we accept. And our second murder is underway. They do, unfortunately, have a child, so we're going to have to murder a child next. But hopefully this works. I do love surprise visits. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's see whether this child puts us on the council now as well. <laughs> yep, spy master. Thank you. <laughs> we'll take that once again. No one suspects a thing. <laughs> now the child must face uh, the wrath of Peter, Littlefinger Baelish. 
fall from grace. I had to do this. I had to do this. Unfortunately, it's somehow gone across to a different house. So we're going to have to keep on going through our murdery ways. So we have a daughter. And finally, we have got to the final person before it goes back to the veil. If we look at the parents, look how many people have been murdered by us in this house. This poor, this poor house, one living member's left. Look at the dynasty tree. <laughs> we have killed all of these people. This guy. <laughs> oh, poor house. You did not want to be above me in the line of succession so i'm hoping when they get it we can kind of usurp it in that little time period uh, between the two so let's go and finally this might be the last person we have got all the way to 30 <laughs> we had to kill so many people to get to this point a whole two houses so let's hope that it works god damn it yes i had to do this i had to do this High Lordship of Grimholm. I'm hoping we can usurp it at some point. I'm just going to smash the usurp button. Come on. Come on. Let's go. We've got the money. We've got the money. Let's go. Please just give it to us, Lysa. Shara, should I say. Shara, give it to us. Are you kidding me? After all of that, we have the most land in here as well. She's just giving it to some random guy. This is ridiculous. I am outraged. I am fucking fuming! Mega, mega fucking fuming! So, we're going to get our prestige up. We're going to claim his title. And then we are going to kill him. And the field of battle, if the schemes don't work, then battle is our last resort. So let's do that instead. God damn it! Let's claim this darn bastard's title. And let us take the fight to him. Finally, we have twice schemed. So, let's have a look at our wife. We've had a few children now, which is a bit problematic. However, we're going to start by getting her the first line of succession below this guy, Lord Luther of Avradir. So, we're going to kill all of your brothers and sisters. I'm sorry, wife. So, beating Lord John is actually going to be quite hard, but we do have a lot of cash. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get some mercenaries. We're going to call both of our allies in, of course, as well. So, let's declare war on him now. Let's uh, smash the mercenaries. We'll get the Fingerman Band of Midlaw, <laughs> the boys. Now, we're going to siege race. Let's siege race these boys, get on top of his capital, and hopefully capture him. And let's see what happens. And finally, we are about to become a High Lord. Glorious as it is. Fantastic. We are now the High Lord of this place, which is great. Which is really good because that allows us to do so much more. Now we can have a look at potentially trying to claim, uh, you know, the Veil of Aaron. So in terms of schemes, I think what we want to do is try and murder her husband... Then marry her and see whether we can get the claim that way. So we're going to murder the husband first. So I petitioned uh, Shara and she has made me spy master. So <laughs> well done, Shara. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. That is something that is glorious. That is going to be helpful so much. Thank you very, very much. However... I'm going to ignore murdering Lord Luther for now. And, you know, <laughs> we're going to have to, you know, request a divorce. Not going to be accepted. So, yeah, I'm sorry, Olena. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so the time has come. Let us kill the husband, 95% chance. Please don't fail. Ah, no. It's been thwarted. 95% chance. The assassin made it inside the castle but did not reach Waymar's chambers. Oh, God. If at first you don't succeed. And now my wife. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, Olena. I mean, surely you, were, you knew that this was coming. <laughs> So now it's time for the husband to die a second time, hopefully. 
This time, it works. Oh my god, how is this guy? This guy is made out of Teflon, surely. That is twice now. Oh my days. I've just noticed something. We are actually possessed. <laughs> I don't know why, and I've not seen a pop-up about it, but apparently now we're a possessed poet. So, And we're a known murderer as well, of course. Third time's a charm. Come on. This guy cannot live forever, surely. Finally! <laughs> Commoners are not so useless after all. <laughs> right then. Let's, uh, let's marry. This is me. This is you. You will not accept. Come on. <laughs> Patrilineal. We'll go matrilineal. And you still won't accept. Come on, Lady Shara. You know that I'm the one. So, I've noticed we can skip out the Veil of Aaron if we want to. We just need a bit of a hook on the king because he's got two daughters here that are not betrothed as of yet. And then, if that's the case, we're just going to have to murder the whole Baratheon family. <laughs> so, all the schemes are going on now. Yes, in the dark, in the dark. But anyway, um, yeah, so what I've decided to do is potentially marry my daughter to Lord Baron of the Vale and try then to murder Shara and then hopefully my daughter will inherit the Vale but <laughs> it's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a long way of doing it now we're trying to sway King uh, Robert but we're also trying to abduct his son and heir and we're gonna try and force a hook onto him if we do uh, <laughs> abduct his son and heir that'll then allow us to marry into his family. And we shall see anyway. We shall see. So let's kill our liege because she's been a bastard up to now. So hopefully it works. Fantastic. Now you are the liege. So, hmm. This is going to be kind of tight. We're going to have to kill pretty much everyone in this family once again so let's see how we do i've just thought of a great idea what if we try and murder queen cersei cersei style then get our daughter married to king robert and then murder the rest of his family that sounds like a good idea let's go so here we are 77 percent chance let's see what happens let's go Oh, no. If, if at first you don't succeed, let's carry on trying to plot to kill her. I'll get you, bitch. Which, yeah, let's go with Rakish. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, now we've got the lover's box as well. Oh, that's not brilliant. And we can get a dynasty legacy for our boys. I'm not sure what we want to go for. I mean, Mountains of the Moon up here, which is a Veilman one, which is quite cool. 30% uh, levy size in Mountains. Uh, I think that's quite good, but yeah, ominous reputation. There we are. Yep. So to so hopefully make our murder plot a little bit more successful, <laughs> we can actually bribe Tyrion to join us. What a legend. <laughs> go on, Tyrion, you absolute boy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So now we have our co-conspirators. It's a 95% chance. Surely, Cersei, surely you're going to die. Yes! Fantastic! Yes! 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 Oh, Cersei. No, this is me and you. Oh, yes! Glorious! My daughter will now be the queen of Westeros. This is fantastic. Now we just need to kill as many people as possible. And now we can get our other daughter betrothed to Robert's heir and son. So I think the murdering needs to start quite quickly. And first of all, we want to try and murder Robert really is, is the main option. So if we could murder him, it doesn't look very likely. <laughs> But if we murder all the rest of his daughters, that is going to be a great start. So, let's get going. 
Ah, yes. The first of Robert's daughters has died. So, that's great. First person to die in the family. Good. Let's go for the second one. Maybe the third one. Let's go. <laughs> so, we've been scheming for such a long time now. And honestly, guys, it's been so difficult to try and pull this off. But we do have our daughter as the queen. And we have our other daughter as the other queen. <laughs> um, and we've got our other daughter as potentially the heir to the Vale of Arryn. And I think Lord Baelish wouldn't want to be king himself. He would be, want to be behind the throne. So if we can pull this off, I think that's where we're going to end. But we've not pulled it off quite yet. We want a Baelish on the throne. Now, we do have a bastard daughter over here who is the daughter of Luna Baelish. Um... So, we're going to try and look to maybe inherit them at some point and see what happens. Let's keep going. So, we did manage to kill Lysena. Unfortunately, everyone um, found out. <laughs> Which is not great. Uh, Robert still likes us, though, for some reason. Murdering Robert is not good. We need to become his spy master. That is really what needs to happen. So... In terms of our plots from now on, we might go after Aaron once again. Um, but yeah, we really need to wait for Prince Baron to come of age. Or we can request a claim down here. It's only minus 30 as well, which is not too bad. So yeah, we need to try and find this, get this done. So we are swaying the High Septum right now. Um, and let's see what happens. Oh, happy days, guys. Happy, happy days. <laughs> Nice. We can now claim the Paramountcy of the Vale, which will be fantastic. So we'll get that claim in there. Now, in order to actually enact the claim, get the claim, we will have to uh, create a claimant faction. We're going to have to get rid of that alliance, of course. So let's uh, break the betrothal. He won't like that at all. Now let's create the faction for me, of course. Start claiming one member. Add members. No one will want to join. So we're going to have to get a hook on all these guys. <laughs> I think at this point we need to marry our daughter off to try and get some, uh, you know, some extra alliances. So I'm going to switch across to medicine focus. Really get our health up because we're getting kind of old now. You know, we're 50. So... <laughs> Yeah, we might die at any point, especially with uh, Possessed. So, yeah, I you know, I need that health. We're going to go for the health. We don't need any seduction, you know, perks. That's not going to help us at all. We could also find a spouse for ourselves. So, maybe the Lordship of Driftmark. I think that might be the one to go for. 4,000 troops extra, which is fantastic. So, you know, getting the alliances in there ready for when we want to kill our Lord. And we have had a daughter uh, with the Driftmark lady. So we're going to try and use that to get an alliance. Now, no one will accept. Everyone hates us. So let's, uh, let's just go via this and go via Alliance Power. And 5,000? 4,000 as well. That's quite nice. I've just got to hope that he doesn't get... A good alliance with whoever he's marrying. And if he does, we'll have to try and murder them. So we've had a daughter, guys. So let's get another alliance in here. We've got this guy who's a lunatic. Who... City of Checker Square. Another 5,000. That is 100% fantastic. So we have 200% power of the liege. Including, our, you know, our allies are going to be really powerful as well. He has 13,000 troops. Uh, unfortunately, he might be able to get an alliance by marrying a Dana off. But he has no allies right now. So I think it's time. I think it's time, guys. <laughs> Let's see what he says. Then war it is. Then war it is. Fantastic. Right then. Let's call all our allies into the war. We want Driftmark first. It doesn't cost that much to invite these guys. So Whisper Point. There we are. And Checkered Square. That's 750 prestige, but... Oh, well. Let's raise our armies. Let's also see, is there anyone we can get? No. Not quite. So we'll just have a bit of a small army to start with. 
But let's wait until a lot of our troops get here and hopefully, you know, we can beat him in a few of the battles. So I have no idea why, but for some reason we've just got 100% just from sieging down these three little bits of land. I mean, I'm going to take it. Like, where is this war score coming from? Oh, well, these guys must have won a few battles down here. And then occupations are huge. Why are they so big? That's crazy. But anyway, let's enforce the demands. And we are now the new Lord Paramount of the Vale. Oh, my God. It's taken so long. I'm almost broken, guys. I'm literally almost broken. But... <laughs> You're finally there. But uh, yeah, let them see their new Lord Paramount. There we are. Fantastic. What a glorious bio. Let's get uh, the Baelish house banner there. And that one as well. And then we'll put the uh, Aaron one there. Just to show what we have done uh, in terms of getting to this point. <laughs> it's been so brutal. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't get the Eerie. Which is a fantastic, uh, fantastic place. But... Yeah, it's uh, not too bad. Now, let us uh, petition our liege if we can at some point. Uh, we can ransom that boy and we'll ransom Albar as well. That's fine. Uh, and let's see whether we can uh, petition our liege at some point. That'd be great. And then what do we want to do? That is the that is the real question. Um, you know, we have our kids over here. Arik is, you know, dying. He's got great pox. <laughs> So we've got to decide what we're going to do from here. We're quite old now. And uh, if we can become Spy Master, I think we can just start pounding through the Baratheons. Just killing all of them. <laughs> so let's see. So now it's time to petition the liege. And of course we're going to go for a council appointment. Hopefully. Mm, I apologize, but for the good of the Iron Throne, I must refuse. Hear me out. Hear me out, Robert, please. Ah. Oh. It's only 20, 45% chance. Let's go. Oh, he's unconvinced. That is not good. That is not good. But surely we are able to murder Robert a lot easier now. Ah, doesn't look like it. How about these guys? 68%. Well, let's start murdering my daughter's children. This is fucked. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. So, Prince Arik only has one child left. We've slowly but surely been making our way through. And you can see Robert Baratheon's children. Uh, yeah, we've got one plot for Rosamund. And then we're going to go after Elaine as well. So now all of Prince Robert's children are dead. Apart from Arik. And all of Arik's children are dead. But his wife, Lady Luna, our daughter, does have a child. So... If we can get Robert to legitimize her, which is only one away, I'm not sure, but that should work, surely. So now we can legitimize Jane Baelish. So let's go for that. Let's see what happens. So now she's a legitimate Baelish. Now we are Spy Master. Fantastic. This is going to help so much. And we're going to kill Stannis as well. <laughs> Naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> He's a healthy eater after all. Oh, glory days. We found a route in. So this guy is the third along the inheritance route. And we want a matrilineal marriage here as well. And he's 11, so it's not too long before he has kids. And then those kids will become Baelish kings and queens. Oh my god. It's finally here, the root. And it's a matrilineal marriage. Make sure. Let us get married. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. It is glorious. He is that kid there. So if we kill Timont and we kill Arik, we should be fine. So we've got a couple of plots going on. Who have we got? King Robert. I think we'll uh, abandon that for now. We'll come back to that later. And let's finally get murdering Arik. <laughs> After so much time, he hates us so much as well. I know he's married to my, uh, you know, my daughter, but ah, oh well, ah, oh well. Oh, Timon, it's been so long. Please die, my friend. Yes, fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. One man between us 
and the Iron Throne. Giles, ah, oh, come on, two, three more years, and you're gonna get married, <laughs> and then we will finally be in a position where we can say the Iron Throne will be in the hands of Baelish. Obviously not our hands, but like I said at the start, Lord Baelish would want to be behind the throne. Sorry if I sound so fucked, bro. <laughs> but guys, I've been, I've been playing this for four hours. <laughs> four hours to do this. <laughs> I'm not going mad. I'm almost possessed as Baelish is right now. Oh my god. Uh, somehow Robert has managed to have another child at the age of... 71. So, I'm sorry, daughter, but yeah, yeah. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. And now it is finally time for Arik to have a nice little meal. You'd think they would all have tasters at this point, the amount of people we've killed. But Bon Appetit, and he is a healthy eater. So, yeah, now the primary hair becomes Thurston. And then after that is Big Giles. So, just to make sure that we are 100% gonna get on the throne you know we're gonna have another matrilineal marriage with this guy who is the fourth in line now so you know it's all turning out okay we've just got to kill andren as well so let's stop fabricating a hook oh fantastic we are now whole of body so our health should be pretty good for a 67 year old health is poor apparently because we are still possessed and delicate but you know that should help us live at least long enough to see our dynasty get onto the Iron Throne. That is our goal now. That is our goal. <laughs> Thurston. Poor Thurston. Murdering a child. Are you certain about this? Absolutely. And we had to do it, of course. So now, when we look at the succession, our first succession is Big Giles here, who's matrilineally married to Big Jane over here as well. And then if we look at the succession, actually, we don't need to kill Andrin, and we, we can't right now. We're trying to uh, abduct him. But, you know, Mark is the primary heir to Andrin, and he is a matrilineally married. So even if big um, Andrin becomes the king, that's fine. That's absolutely fine, because after that, we will have a, a Baelish on the throne. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now all we need to do is wait for Robert to die, which... Oh my days, this couldn't have gone any better. Children of my dynasty, we're of course going to name... Yes, one of you after me. Peter. <laughs> and then the other one can just be Lara. And I will call you Jane after your mother because she was the final nail in the coffin for, su for securing our legacy. <laughs> May you grow strong and wise. And let's have a look. <laughs> this guy is going to be on the throne. Peter Bailey. <laughs> yes. We have done it. We have done it. That is fantastic. And you can see Peter is second in line behind Giles as well. So we could even, you know, at this point, kill Giles. Um... <laughs> And get Peter Baelish in line. So let's do that. And hopefully Robert will die very, very soon. So Giles, 36% chance. It's not great. But... <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my days. This is fantastic. So Peter is the next one on the throne. And then, of course, we have Andron, who is the dad of Mark. Who, oh, we lost the uh, the alliance there. So we'll go for another matrilineal marriage. But in fact, we'll choose, we'll probably choose someone who's a bit closer to their age. In fact, Lady Alera, that's fine. Matrilineal marriage as well. So even if things go wrong, we have another line of succession. The second line of succession, even if... Big Giles, uh, Big Peter decides to die, which hopefully he doesn't. I would like to educate you, my friend, and we will educate you in our favorite thing, intrigue. That's big brain play. It's big brain play. Oh, glorious, glorious, glorious days. King Peter Baelish of the Iron Throne. 
<laughs> Robert has died. How did Robert actually die? I do want to find that out. So, Robert died just of old age. And we have lived to see our great-grandson on the throne of the Iron Throne. We never managed to get there ourselves, but like I said, we wanted to be in the background. We are the paramount of the Vale as well, so any problems you have, grandson, going forward, we will be there. We will be there to support you. Oh my god. That was just utter pain. Utter, utter pain. Oh, glorious, glorious. It would be nice if, you know, King Peter was our player heir as well. Uh, but Lord Olwyn is, and he's going to come of age, you know, in a long time. So I doubt we're going to live long enough to see him come of age. But we have done it, guys. We have done it. The amount of chaos and destruction that has rained down on these lands. And you can see Jane Baelish is now the heir to the throne. However, Roel Lannister is the second heir, which is not great for us. That makes Andron all the way over here. So... You know what that means. <laughs> we'll start that anyway, uh, just to make sure. Let's have a look at our kills. We've killed 42 characters. And poor Baratheons, you can see. Look how many Baratheons we've killed. Oh my god. <laughs> loads of Lannisters as well. Loads of people in the Vale. Loads of uh, House Arryn. Is House Arryn even living? It is. Let's have a look at House Baratheon. Does House Baratheon even... Uh, live now eight living members lord renly is a black brother apparently <laughs> but uh jasselin baratheon's actually married to lady simona which is one of our daughters uh who is a baelish so <laughs> glorious and they have a claim to the lord paramountcy of the stormland so we should probably go and try and claim that at some point as well because who actually owns that right now it is lord paramount raymond who has a few heirs so if we really wanted to play this forward we could uh, try and get uh jacqueline on the uh on the throne of the stormlands as well and it will be baelish at vale on the stormlands and very likely the lannisters as well ellis over here lord paramount uh, ellis up here as well um, yeah, we'd probably, you know, if we had a look at this, we'll probably be along here somewhere. <laughs> so, we have basically created so much chaos in the realm. So much chaos. Um, and we would be, you know, if we really wanted to continue this, we could make Baelish, you know, the Stormlands, the Lannisters, and the Vale, and the Iron Throne as well. And in fact... He has Storm's End. I don't know why Peter has Storm's End. but <laughs> Since they were Lannisters. but <laughs> Since his dad was a Lannister. But apparently Storm's End is now the capital. I mean, it's better than this place that's ruined anyway, isn't it? It's all ruins over here. So, yeah. <laughs> Glorious. We have done it, guys. We have done it. If you did enjoy, guys. If you want to see another episode in this series... 120 likes. Whenever that's done, we'll record another episode in this glorious series. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.